important announcement before the video starts. This is my friend Splashy Pond. I met him just a little while after I created my channel, cause that was when I was doing the Minecraft stuff. Anyway, he's really cool, his editing is so much better than mine, and he honestly deserves- Sorry, the audio got corrupt at the end for some reason. What I was trying to say was that he deserves so many more views and subscribers than he already has, so once you're done watching this video, I implore you to go over and check out his channel. Also, I've never done a shout out before, so sorry if this feels unnatural of me, I guess. This is Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal P.I., a frankly underrated ghost hunting game that I've fallen in love with recently, even though I suck absolute shit at it, as you'll see in a minute. Despite this though, I still wanted to upload a little let's play of me playing the game, which is what this is. Now before I start, I need to give a warning to any new people, I do not have the best equipment. So, the gameplay tends to be laggy sometimes, and my mic audio tends to stutter a bit. Um, please bear with me through this. I've tried to fix it so many times, and it's just my device. I'm going to get a better PC soon, which will improve the video's quality in the coming future, hopefully. Now that that's all out of the way, enjoy the video. Oh wait, okay, so this is Jerry, aka William Carter, the ghost I will be hunting in this video. Uh, I call him Jerry in the video because I didn't know his name, I just wanted to let you know, just in case you were someone familiar with this game and you're like, WHO THE FUCK IS JERRY? So yeah, anyway, on to the video now. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna go see what Jerry's doing. So, I played this just a second ago, and by a second ago, I mean like an hour ago, and Jerry kept opening and closing this door. I should actually record this. Because of course he did. Uh, I don't know why he was like beckoning me to come down there. <laughs> I don't really want, uh, you know. The evidence for him is almost completed. I just need some more audio, I think. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. I swear to God. Anyway, um, I kind of fuck with Jerry. He's been helping me get through this, even though he screams at me sometimes. He's been hanging out right over here. The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Oh, really? He hasn't answered there me on there. Who would so, like to speak with me? On there, on here, on this thing. Is there anyone here? would like to speak with me he's walking <gasps> hi oh shit wait how rare to take a photo of a ghost I froze. Jerry, he showed himself. It is hot as a witch. Oh, hi, Jerry. How rare to take a photo of a ghost. See, see, he screams at me like that sometimes. I think I need to catch him going, Help me! Or whatever. Can you do that again? Are you still here? No. Hold on. I haven't gotten any temp readings. Oh, he's out here. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing <sighs> normal. Are you fucking serious? Jerry, come back. Come back here, Jerry. Where the fuck did he go? At least he showed himself, like... I've been at this ever since I got this game because I suck at this game. So, I've just been chasing Jerry. He's like only screamed at me once before and now he screamed at me again, so Jerry Oh Oh Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. Are you fucking serious? I think he's a shadow person. Editors no well no fucking shit. Apparently he goes down.
I need Jerry to manifest again. So that way he'll go. <laughs> I think he might have gone downstairs. Does he go downstairs? I don't know. I'm still not sure because um, when I was playing this off camera on my one to one, he like kept opening and closing that door. If you're on my Instagram, you've seen the stories. I was like, okay, there's this fucking ghost. He's opening the door and closing it. So yeah, that might be him. I don't know. He is. <gasps> wow, that's great audio evidence. Yes! Thank you, Jerry. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, so he was down there. I don't know what the fuck he's doing in the basement, but now I can fuck off. <laughs> Just kidding. <sighs> um, I thought since I got all of Jerry's evidence that I would have like pictures I took displayed here or something displayed, but nope, it's just evergreen lane. <coughs> I have that place unlocked, but I'm not gonna go to it that yet. Excuse me. I wanna exercise Jerry. Or help him pass on. Exercising is what you do for demons. I don't think he's a demon. He's just moody. So let's listen to the audio. Nope, that's the child. Which is upstairs. I don't know what it's saying. Listen. <gasps> anyway, here's Jerry's audio. He either said save me or stay me. Which is pretty cute. He said, hi. You can reverse this, right? Oh, so this one. Okay, that's hi. That's just him making a sound. Honestly, me too. Yeah, he's like, hey. I feel like Jerry just doesn't know how to communicate. Just like me too. And he gets overwhelmed. And when he sees you, he's like, ah! <laughs> okay, like this. Help me! Yeah, help me. Help me! Help me! Why does it sound different? That's weird. Anyway, we got Jerry. Does it say I got Jerry? How do I exercise him? Or it's not called exercising. Paranormal PI how to get rid of ghost okay ghost releasing an exorcism wait first first let me confirm that he's a shadow ghost um he's not residual because he's interacting with me uh intelligent ghost okay so jerry is a shadow man i need to find an object which i have a feeling that might be downstairs sadly and i need to smudge him with thimmy juniper Okay, so Juniper, you, you buy shit from slime, I think. EMF devices, Mariner, Juniper. Okay, let's help Jerry move on. I don't know if that's his actual name. I know some of these ghosts have, like, lore lore that gives them names, but until I know his name, he's just known as Jerry for now. Or, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. This, for sale, auction... Furniture, furnishings, wrap pianos, rug, and all other furnishings. Was he selling something? I don't know. He could be one of the Bennets or whatever. Hmm. This is very interesting. Hopefully he won't fucking bother me while I'm trying to get his object. <laughs> it's in the basement too. The basements are always fucking creepy. Let's see. Where the fuck are my sticks? Do I have a limited number or... Fancy transition. Okay, guys. I have the smudges. Uh, the juniper one. Specifically for Jerry. Okay. Oh, I hate the basement. Jerry's probably down there waiting for me. I swear to God. I kind of like Jerry. Like, this is honestly sad because I'm going to banish him. But in a loving way. Oh, on the menu where um, 
it says, would you like to investigate this area? Showed all the bars, the uh, sound and photo thing for Jerry Full, and then it had an outline of an object in this relic. So I got to look for an object that's probably in the fucking basement. Lovely. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, I know, Jerry. Hold on. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what do we do about it? Okay. I'm gonna use this, because pictures give good. Good. Sorry. They give good, um, XP, so. Jerry. I need your object. So I need a relic. I swear to God. <laughs> Jerry's probably just like, ha stupid ass, can't find the fucking lights. I can't. I can't, Jerry. Is there like a... Wait, wait. Oh. Do I need a fucking key? I need a key. <gasps> Aww. I'm gonna fucking rip your face off, bitch! I said, oh, it's There's probably a key somewhere. I don't know. I like, I've been binge watching the Isanism Man, and luckily I space out a lot because I have it playing in the background, so I don't know shit about like all the little intricate details. I just know like one house has like this demon that runs at you, this house has a Jerry. Where the fuck would the key be? Oh, I really hope it's not in the garage. Or it might be upstairs. <sighs> the shit I do for Jerry. That's a cute purse. Look at it. It's a Simon purse. <laughs> I might have to go in the garage. Or upstairs. Hi, Jerry. He's kind of sweet. He's scary, though. Scary Jerry. So, in the reports, there's apparently a choking man in here. Like, <laughs> So, there might be a key in there, because if you think logically, those look like metal doors, so they're probably, like, reinforced or something, or something special. They probably have, like, hardware down there. You would have specialized keys where you put your hardware, which is in the garage. Or it might be downstairs, or it might be somewhere upstairs, I do not know. I'm kind of scared, though, because, again, the only ghost I'm acquitted with is Jerry, so... <sighs> I don't know who's in here. I just, all I need is a key. That's what I need. Okay, I've been back here once, and it has this horrible, look at this. Oh, wait, give me, community mourns suicide. Is Jerry, did he kill himself? Spoiler alert, he did not kill himself. That was for somebody else. Anyways, I spent a good chunk of the remaining footage being stupid and not knowing how to play the game. Also, look at this fucking sink, y'all. Eventually, I found Jerry's relic downstairs in the other metal door room. It wasn't locked. Knowing me, it's not surprising that I would just assume it was locked and not checked it because the other door was locked. Knock on wood, the fuck? And then I ended one of the sessions while having his relic in my inventory. When I went back, it wasn't there, and I thought I broke the game. This is because I did not know that that's not the only place his relic could spawn. It could also spawn outside the front door to the right a little bit. Anyways, I got the relic, I got the smudge, and then I spent more time figuring out how to correctly do the seance. Eventually, I discovered how to, and that's the footage I will show you right now. So, enjoy. Which ghost are you trying? William Carter. I would like to acknowledge William Carter's <gasps> presence. Flash. You tried to drown your pain with alcohol. Bitch, me too! But could never free your guilt over the passing of Elizabeth and Thomas. 
I believe you did everything possible to try and save them. You must let go of the pain that caused you to lose your life. The rest of the family is at peace waiting for you. It is time for you to go and be with them. I need to ensure I put this relic somewhere safe. I'm going to take it with me. I'm stealing it. Jerry! His name is William Carter, but... Oh my god. <gasps> There's the flask. There was that, y'all. We released Jerry, aka William Carter. I thought you had to put down the flask and then light it, but you had to light the stuff. Put down the flask and then have it out. Yeah, but anyway, thank y'all for watching. That was very fun. And may William Carter, aka Jerry, rest in peace now. Goodbye.